If you are looking for some binge-worthy Saturday night viewing, the medical drama Transplant will have you hooked. And season two has even more drama and more emotion as we follow the lives of Dr. Bash and the staff of York Memorial Hospital, including Dr. Jed Bishop, played by John Hanna. Take a look. All we're hearing is that the generator system is experiencing cascading failure. Maintenance is on it, but they don't know why or how or for how long. But it is hospital-wide, which means there's no access to labs, medical records or imaging. Where the critically ill can be moved to other hospitals, we will. When patients are acute, we rely on clinical observation and response. Resources are obviously low, so we need to conserve where possible. All right, let's get to it. Congratulations on the show. I'm so excited to be talking to you. So for people who have not seen season one, give me a brief synopsis. The show set in the emergency room at York Memorial in uh, Toronto. And in the very first episode of season one, I almost die. And my life is saved by a Syrian refugee who is in Canada, but not working as a doctor, obviously. He's working in a shawarma shop. Uh, but he saves my life, and for that, I am in a position to be able to offer him a, a kind of a position there and on parole sort of thing, and which he does very well. And then your character, Dr. Bishop, actually suffers a stroke at the end of the last season. So mm -hmm. how did that affect the staff as we are seeing in season two? Well, I think it puts everyone on edge, given that that, that could uh, that could start a major kind of reshuffle of management, which which I am trying to avoid, naturally. There are so many interesting layers to this story. There's the story of starting over. There's the real world issues. There's the immigrant story. So what is it that you love most about what the show is bringing to light? There was a there was a very much a theme of second chances and what we do with those second chances and how we how we learn from our mistakes the first time around that was that was kind of my ballpark area which um being human you sort of go around not learning anything do you till it's too late i like that now the show also takes such great pride in telling dr bash's syrian storyline in in a very real light i've read that there are cultural consultants on the staff is that true Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much. And also Hamza has done so much work on his own because he's then doing the medical things, but in an English accent, but with a Syrian accent via his Pakistani understanding of Arabic. So it's wow. there's a, a various levels of hoops through which he's leaping. It's amazing. Um, so I read that you have a blackout episode coming up. Mm -hmm. What was shooting that like? Did anybody fall over or <laughs> were there any issues in the darkness? There, there were a few issues, but this was pretty cool. This gave us a chance to really work in a very low light environment. I think the challenges were much more prevalent for, as I say, for the, the DP and the, the camera department. Um, no, no, no. Not only are they walking in the dark, but they're walking backwards as well. Which Very is expensive nice. equipment, right? <laughs> yes. And everyone, you can catch season two of Transplant every Saturday night at 8 p.m. on NBC and catch up on episodes on Peacock. John, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Nice talking to you.